video today. Um, let's plot positive and negative numbers on the number line. And you should be able to determine or approximate the value of any point on a number line, represent negative numbers on a number line, and understand what it means for numbers to be opposite. So we're doing the warm-up 2.1 right now. So if you're looking at where this point is on the number line, B, point B is right there, halfway between 2 and 3, which is 2 and a half. Oops. So that works. 2 fifths does not work. 5 over 2 is 2 and a half. And if you divide 10, uh, 25 by 10, it's 2 and a half. 2.49 is so close that we're going to have to select that one as well because it's too hard to tell where that point exactly is if it's not stating it. So everything but two fifths. Okay, in the thermometers, the first four thermometers show temperatures in Celsius. Write the temperatures in the blank. And then for the last one, you're going to write the numbers in the box. So I'm going to do this on the page that I have printed out. For 2.2, what's the temperature? So if I'm looking here, that's a positive one. So this would be 1 degree Celsius. B is negative 2 negative 2 degrees Celsius. C is 3, 3 and a half degrees Celsius. D is halfway between the 0 and the 1, so I'm going to call that negative 1 half or negative 1 or 0.5 degrees Celsius. And for the last box, they want us to fill it in. So it looks like they're counting by fives. So going here would be zero. And going up, we'd have five, 10, 15, 20. And going down this way, it would be negative five, negative 10, negative 15, negative 20. All right, for number two, it says, Elena says that the thermometer shows, shown here, reads negative 2.5 degrees Celsius because the line of the liquid is above negative two. Jada says that it is one, negative 1 1.5 degrees Celsius. Do you agree with either one of them and explain your answer? So the answer to this one is you're counting, it's getting larger as you go down. So this would be, 0, negative 1, negative, and even though the numbers are getting larger, it's actually getting smaller. So, but it's between negative 1 and negative 2, so it's going to be jeta that is correct, negative 1.5 degrees Celsius, and the reason is because it is between 1 and 2. Sorry, negative 1 and negative 2. Number 3. One morning, the temperature in Phoenix, Arizona was 8, and the temperature in Portland, Maine was 12 degrees cooler. What was the temperature in Portland? So I've made this number line. So if it starts at 8 and it's going to drop 12 degrees, now remember you could do it this way, right, because temperature goes up and down like this, like a thermometer. So if it's at 8 and it goes down 12, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So in, it's going to be negative 4 degrees in Portland. Upper K, don't want this to carry out to get mad at me. Negative 4 degrees in Portland. Okay, so in 2.3, I really would like you to make a number line like I did. Um, so it has directions if you want to do that. 
You could always use a, a ruler for as a number line, but um, I'm just going to use the ruler to cover my answers. So which number is the same distance away from zero? So when you're talking about a number line, distance from zero, so uh, four is four uh, marks away from zero. And so if you're going the opposite direction, negative four would be its opposite. So four, negative four is the opposite of four, four is the opposite of negative four. Which number is the same distance away from negative seven? Well, positive seven. And it says two numbers that are the same distance from zero on the number line are called opposite. Find another pair of opposites on the number line. So I chose two and negative two, but it can be 10, negative 10, eight, negative eight. The only thing it cannot be is zero. D says determine how far away the number five is from zero. Well, we know that's five. Um, so then choose a positive number and a negative number that is each farther away from zero than the number five. So I chose 10 and negative 10. Determine how far away the number negative two is from zero. Well, it's two places away from zero. Then choose a positive and a negative number that is each further away from zero than a number negative two. So I chose negative three and positive three. So when they're saying that on the number line, just to reiterate, one is one space away from zero. Negative one is one space away from zero. So one and negative one are opposites. Two and negative two are opposites. All right, so let's go on to All right, so here is a number line with some points labeled with letters. Determine the locations of points P, X, and Y. So what I did is I took my ruler, and I see that it's one uh, centimeter. These little lines are millimeters. And it looks like they're all one centimeter away. So I did a mark here, a mark here. Uh, really, it should be here. Here and here. So I kind of labeled these wrong. This is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. And I'm getting it as negative 6. The book has it a little bit different. They're saying it's negative 4.5 and, and negative 7.5. And I think it just depends on how you label because I did negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six. So I think that's okay to do it my way. Um, if you disagree, you can let me know in the comments in Google Classroom. The Are You Ready for More will be posted in Seesaw and I reposted those links, the codes to sign up for those in both classes so you should be able to do that. All right, so you're going to uh, do the practice problems for lesson two. Those are in Google Classroom as well. And it's your choice how you want to do that. If you want to um, print them out or just look at, you could go to this website here, which is open up resources and then .org and then find lesson seven, unit seven, lesson two, and you sign in as a student and it has all of this here for you. And you can just look at the screen and write your answers down on paper. You do not have to turn in your practice problems. Um, tomorrow you will have the answers to the practice problems and you should be correcting those. What you do need to turn in is the cool down and that will be in Google Classroom as well. All right, have a great day.